something can never be separated from the no thing that perceives it. In fact, there are no some things. There only appears to be a thing. Objects consist of what? Perception. All we've ever known is perception. No one has ever found an object. Ever. No one has ever directly experienced an object. A thing. Ever. You have never ever experienced an actual thing. If you stay direct, and the less you think and describe, the clearer this becomes. If you stay direct with your experience, if you want to awaken, you have to see the truth as it is, the truth of yourself, your being as it is. And you will find that your experience is just that. It's not a thing. You can't say that you are experiencing a thing. You can only say that you experience. Perception is all you know. Things are completely assumed. Seven billion people all assuming that we're in a world of things. Yet no one, none, none, nada, not one of these seven billion people has ever directly encountered a thing outside of their perception. All we ever experience is perception. The combination of illusions that together generate the sense, the notion, that there is objects responsible for the perception. No one has ever found that to be true. And yet we rely so heavily on science, objective Newtonian science. Science is the most religious sect out there because it completely 100% bases its existence off of something that has never been experienced or proven to exist. <laughs> now, if that isn't religious, I don't know what is. <laughs> sure need a whole lot of faith. If no one ever experienced, ever experienced an object, yet the entirety of science is based on studying the existence of objects, it's the most religious sect ever created and it's got the most followers <laughs> it's just the belief system release that belief system begin to experience directly without inference without assuming without calculations without predictions begin to swim in the soup of your dreamscape directly to begin with it's a good starting point become direct become present if you will mindful without mind become heartful And if you observe directly, which is what happens instantly when we take away the equation of describing things, of thinking about things, that's why you can never really realize the truth if you're actively thinking about things. That's why you need to stop thinking for two seconds. Okay? It's all that it takes. Radically give up all thought now. And awaken. Maintain awareness. Don't fall asleep when you stop thinking. A lot of people will go into sort of a sleepiness state when they stop thinking, which is just another thought. 
It's a no thought, acting thought. No, it's about the awakening. The stopping thoughts is only a means. You stop thinking, but you maintain pristine awareness of what remains. Revive consciousness. Awaken awareness. Cease thinking for a couple seconds at a time, but maintain clear, pristine, vibrant, alive awakeness. And see as it is. Don't think about it. See as it is. Realize yourself as you are. The less you think, the more you see and know and are. When you stop thinking, what remains? Be awake. Don't just stop thinking and miss that moment. It's rare enough as it is. Be there to witness that moment devoid of thought, where you're not going left or right, forward or backwards. You just stop as you are. You stop trying to change what is. You stop trying to understand or describe anything about anything. Full stop. What remains? Don't describe it. Just stay aware of what remains experientially. Know yourself directly in this way. And see that nothing can be separated out from this space. Whatever appears, appears due to the space that remains when you don't think. It's the same space which enables the thoughts from which the thoughts appear inseparably. Cannot separate thoughts from awareness. Cannot separate pain from bliss. Cannot separate sleepiness from consciousness. The love isness awareness wide open formless space of your very own being, your true basic nature, the substratum of all appearances, is ever available. It's ever shining forward. It's illuminating this movie. It is like the light projecting the movie onto the screen. Realize the light within, from where, whence, you illuminate the mind with its many thoughts and world perceptions. Realize the light, which is the only thing in existence, in creation. Know the light and you know God. You know everything. Know that everything is that light. That that light is everything. There is no separation possible. Every single experience confirms that it's made of love, isness, awareness. The light of God, in other words. 